Hello, Miriam Slosberg here from uh, Miriam Reads Tarot, and I hope you're doing well. So right now we're going to be talking about the Page of Wands or the Chick of Fire as it is in the Penguin Tarot deck. So what is the Page of Wands? It's a court card, and the page is a messenger, right? The messenger can be an individual or be part of your intuition. So this is the card that represents inspiration and making new discoveries. It's the card that represents finding new ideas and seeing that the potential is limitless. And this is a free spirit. So when you see this card, it means you are ready to give something a go and you're ready to entertain new ideas and be open to starting a brand new journey. So this does not mean that you have a plan in place that is solid. It just means that you know that there are other opportunities and you're excited about them. So you are conjuring up some creative ideas and you are not allowing the constraints of everyday life to get into the way at all. So the example of the Page of Wands is you suddenly getting an idea to write a novel. And this idea came out of nowhere. So you have an idea of what type of novel you want to write, but you have no idea how you're going to organize the manuscript. So all, um, all you know is that you got this idea and you're going to explore it further. So the Page of Wands keywords are inspiration, new ideas, creativity, uh, making new discoveries, free spirit, and new possibilities. So when this card is in reverse, it can show that you have self-limiting beliefs or you're coming up with an idea that's not quite entertaining by looking that there are endless opportunities. So it can be also indicative of a new idea that has no real substance to it, whereas this card is sitting upright there is an idea of what type of idea to explore. So the element that this card is tied to is fire, as you know. Okay, so the next card we're going to go over is the Knight of Wands, or in the Penguin Tarot, the Juvenile of Fire. So I'll see you in a bit.